Hey guys, what's up? Thanks so much for stopping by for another episode of Lone Nose. Guys, this is the place where we help content creators just like you get better every single day through audio, video, and text. So if you already haven't, hit that subscribe and bell button. And if you liked the video, well then go ahead and leave a like. And if you didn't, well then leave a dislike. It all helps. Okay guys, so today I'm doing something a little different, but I want to connect with you for a moment uh, right now. As content creators, you and I, we are normally focusing on how does our video look or how does our video sound or what kind of software am I using? How can I kind of find an edge or something or how do I create this thumbnail and so on and so on. It becomes a lot. I get it. I can relate. Right. And you start asking yourself like, man, like, why am I doing this? Am I doing the right thing? Am I wasting my time? Does anyone even care? Is this going to take off? It's a lot. It's a lot. And sometimes we feel like maybe like equipment is our answer. And for the most part, it's not. We're not giving enough, enough, we're not giving enough attention to the tool for all of this that really matters. And it's the one between our ears. It's our brain. We've got to make sure that what's happening within our minds is, is on set and on track with what we are trying to do. Stay with me for a moment. I've been reading, I've been reading a lot of personal development books, um, whether it be like, you know, psychology or physiology or just whatever motivation and, and all that stuff. And a lot of times for good, for, for good reasons, we just kind of lose our steam. We lose our motivation and you know what? It's okay. It doesn't mean that you have to give up. It's totally normal. It's just kind of like the stage and the phases of just kind of going through things. So like I said, I'm doing something a little new here. Um, after all the books that I've read, I came across the latest book that I've just read and it's who moved my cheese. Really great book, um, very short book too. You'll finish reading it in under about an hour. Uh, but I came away with a lot of things that I already knew, but it was just kind of put in a great short story that's great for anybody, even kids. I plan on reading this to my to my three little boys. Um, but it, you come away with like a really good sense of like, wow, who am I? Who am I in my life right now? And what direction am I, am I going? Am I going in any direction or am I, or am I still within my life right now? And it follows four different characters who at the moment have found their cheese and they've just sort of like taken it for granted. And then one day their cheese is gone. Now within the four individuals, they kind of like, they all act differently. And these four different characters kind of symbolizes maybe the person you are right now. Are you the person who kind of feels like something was stolen from you? That like the cheese was yours and it was owed to you. Or are you the person like, oh my God, my cheese is gone. I got to find more. Or are you the person who could just kind of like you, you shoot out like a rocket, just kind of like doing everything and anything, but you have no real direction? Or do you feel like maybe you're like a combination of, of the two and you want to make a change, but you really have no kind of understanding of where you should go or how to do it or how to make the next move? That is the story of Move My Cheese. And it's actually a great story that can actually that you can identify with. And at the end of the story, you can actually ask yourself, well, gosh, like, who am I? these characters in this book and where am I in my life or my job or even my YouTube game? Where am I right now? Do I feel like something is deserved to me or am I looking for something that deserves me? You follow me? So again, I, I highly recommend pick it up or you can even download it for free. Just like put who moved my cheese PDF and you'll find it anywhere. Um, but definitely it's a nice quick read. Um, Definitely take the time, see who you identify with um, within the book, kind of see where you where you find yourself within your life and what kind of changes you're going to make or just what kind of mindset change you are going to implement within your life moving forward. And like I said, definitely read this to young ones. I'm going to read this to my young kids and hopefully they'll actually grasp the story, if not at the moment, but it'll stay with them throughout the future. Um, so, yeah. So my re my review on Move My Trees, move, not Move My Trees, on who moved my cheese? I like it. Book's only nineteen dollars, but like I said, you can get it for uh, you can get it for free. Read on PDF, but I'm glad I'm gonna have this right here, and um, I'll read it to my boys. I'll definitely be reading this over and over again, um, so I could probably share the story um, with other people who may be kind of questioning things within their life right now. Um, really good, really give them good analogies as far as that as they can uh, connect to. Um, but definitely, guys, go ahead. I know it's a little different, but if you can check it out. Uh, definitely owe it to yourself. Let me know what you think. Let me know what character you are or or who you were and who you are now or changing to or just kind of share that information with you uh, with me. I'd like to have the discussion with you um, in the comments uh, section down below. Um, also, hit me up on my social media. 
uh, Twitter, Facebook, and what's the other one? Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Let me know who are you uh, between the four characters and what kind of changes you are going to implement in your life moving forward. Okay, guys. Oh, and also hit me up on the Discord community at Low Nose. All right, guys. Um, if you found this video helpful, you'd like to see more book reviews that will help us in our journey of our lives and also through content creation, most of all, because I know we all get burned out. It's a realistic thing. It happens. It happens to me, but some way, some way I got to find a way to just kind of like keep going because it's not going to happen if you're not doing anything. Okay, guys. So that's it. Check out the book, Who Moved My Choose. I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye.